hello guys welcome back to the show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix resident evil 4 chainsaw demo is having an issue with audio or sound is not working but it is getting crackling muffled and popping audio on your windows and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround so the first one is all about we just have to start with a simple restarting the game for that if you're on the steam for uh, just close the game once you're done with the game just go over here at the top then just exit the steam now after exiting the steam just go over here restart the pc as well once you turn it on the pc just open the steam once again then try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well you can try this out next one is all about we have to check the volume mixer for that we just have to go over here make sure this particular volume is being set into 100 percentage that is an important one once after that go to the settings now from here go to sound over here and over here as you can see we are having output as well as input so under the output this should be 100 percentage and if you go after input this should be 100 percentage as well so if this muted up then definitely we'll be having a lot of trouble so make sure this is not muted as well as this is not muted so make sure both these both two things are not muted and uh, it is all maximum that is what you have to cross check whether did you mute it by accidentally or not that is what you have to do and next one which is all about select the right audio device in the sound setting so over here we are in the sound setting so i'll show you from here itself so over here if you under the output if you check the speakers which is is realtek r audio over here if you go to the microphone you can see the realtek r which means both my things are correct i have selected the right device so simultaneously you have to make sure whether you selected the right device or not that is an important step so make sure that you selected the right device and uh, the right one and that is an important one you have to do so make sure that you have selected the right one and if it is fine just move to the next one next one is all about we have to set the sound sample rate to 48 or 44 kilohertz in the sound panel for that we need to first go over here let me close this do the search now go for control panel now from here we have to navigate to sound now from here select the speaker right click and go to properties now we have to go to advanced over here under the default format you can see there are many options there are 24 bit 48000 24 bit 44000 16 bit 48000 16 bit 44000 so set this to 24 bit 48000 once you set this up go for apply and go for ok then try to play the game and that is an important step as well next one is all about we have to disconnect the controllers if it is there i don't know how this is related but this did work it like a magic for all the time so if you're trying to play the game not only this one if you're trying to play the game with the controllers so the first one it might be already connected right so just remove it from the usb device I mean from the USB port, remove it from the USB port. Once you remove it from the USB port, launch the game. And if you wanted to play the game with the controller, after launching the game, connect back the controller and try to play. And this is what you have to do. Very simple. If it's already there connected, just remove it. Then launch the game. After game is launched, just connect back the controller and try to play the game. And this did work it, so you can do the same but not only for the controllers and even if anything are connected like multiple monitors and all those things and if your usb ports are busy then just remove everything for example here in my case i'm having the controller which i uh, removed it but there is also the logitech wheel so i have to remove it as well so remove everything from the usb port and keep it free and once after that launch the game then connect it back and this will be working fine next one is all about we have to turn off the spatial sound for that we have to go over here in the search go for control panel now from here go to sound go to speaker right click and go to properties go to spatial sound we have to turn this off if it is on we have to turn this off once after that we just have to close this and go over here and try to play the game next one is all about we have to disable oculus voice meter if it's connected so it's a similar step go over here in the search go to control panel go to sound now over here if you find any oculus voice meter connected we have to end it up so just select the oculus voice meter and go for disable all that is what you have to do so right now here there is no oculus voice meter so fine but if you are having oculus voice meter just follow the instruction 
Next one is all about we have to disable the unwanted from the device manager. For that, just go over here in the start, right click and go to device manager. And over here, if you go to sound video, Realtek R audio is actually, uh, which is uh, main, main, but rest two things are not. So just remove it. If it's not there, just go for disable. As well as for this also go for disable. Only keep the Realtek R audio in my case. For you, you just have to do the respective one, which is necessary. Rest things can be removed. Next one is all about, we have to install the audio driver if it is there or update the audio driver. For that, we need to go over here in the search, right click and go to device manager. Now from here, we have to go to uh, audio over here, go to sound and audio. Just go to Realtek R audio, right click update driver and make sure this is up to date. So if this is up to date, you're fine with that. Just make sure this is up to date and move on to the next one. That is all about, we have to update the windows for that. We have to go over here in the search. Go to settings. Now from here, we have to go to system. Now from here, go to uh, Windows update at the bottom left. Now, if you're having any updates like this, just download and install. And if it is uh, there, like if any updates are there, just update it and make sure this is up to date. That is what you have to do. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Resident Evil 4 change. So demo is cry uh, having no audio issue and how we can fix this up and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye